it's TMNT time! Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today we're going to have a look at the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Muckman, and his little buddy, Joe Eyeball. And we got the NECA style box, which has the title, Muck Everlasting. I don't know if that was the exact title of Muckman first showing up on a TV show, but it still looks cool. I really love the artwork on the front of it. Like, especially the Turtles in the Man, it looks like an old VHS cassette and the entire design you have like the kind of childish NECA logo on the side. And Volume 4 because this is the fourth Ultimate figure. What that means is like most of the TMNT figures are distributed in two packs, but if you have a bigger figure that has a lot of accessories, they get the Ultimate Treatment. And this has also a nice window box if you just want to display it in the box, but we're not about that on this channel as you want to crack this box open and have a look at it. Like and subscribe or else! What do you get when you spell muck backwards? I'm not gonna say it, you can write it in the comments. Also, maybe YouTube will auto delete it. That will, uh, you know, I don't delete comments unless they're stupid. Anyway, <laughs> 17 and a half centimeters to the top of his banana, the banana peel on his head. So that means he goes up to almost seven inches tall. Size comparisons. Here's Dalter, Neca Raphael, Mattel Stone Cold Steve Austin, Super 7 Rocksteady, Super 7 Leonardo, and Darkseid. Okay, before I even get an, into anything else, have a look at this one. Yes! Perfect. So. Um, this leg is already super loose, and this leg is absolutely not cooperative, uh, and it looks like they just jammed in a lot of paint in the hopes of it holding on. The paint that is now flaking all over my desk, here's some of it. Great. Good stuff. I can vacuum clean later. Uh, so yeah, that's a... Uh, that's, that's actually a joke. That's not funny. Uh, just... You're, you call yourself a company, and you do this kind of shit? You know what? We move on. I just want to move on. Look at the size, look at the look. We had a look at the size, now we have a look at the look. He looks pretty good. Nice words, uh, a nice use of words there, Paint. He um, actually has a great cartoon look. I don't know if the thing around his nose is supposed to be painted or not. I think it is. Is it a little bit brown? Yeah. Under the camera, I felt like it was still in the green, but no, it is brown. It's just like a dark tone, but yeah, he has a derpy face, very accurate. There's actually some lines on his teeth. They have the banana peel on the head, has some line work on it. I don't know about this line, but all the other lines look pretty good. Has a, I would say, cockroach on his head and tons of molded detail in his chin. It looks fairly disgusting. It looks like Toxic Crusaders, but that's not that's Chairman T. Then you have the classic, I call it classic at this point because all of the TMNT figures from the NECA cartoon line have the two-tone body. You have like a brighter tone in the front and a, a little bit more of a darker tone in the back, also noticeable in the in the head. And obviously his shirt, his ripped up shirt. He has a bunch of weird stuff in his chest going on. I don't even know what this is. It looks kind of weird. And uh, speaking of muck backwards, this is like the behind. This is like, yeah, I'm just... Moving on from that, it's like an apple, which is not painted like an apple. It's just like kind of dark. I guess it's like a moldy apple. And then you have what is, it seems to be a mirror and a little bit of bright green in there. Then you have a flower on this side and nothing else on this side other than just muck going down. Has the grabby hands on the guy. It looks kind of like a Frankenstein monster. The more I look at it, I get like Frankenstein vibes. And that's the first time I kind of felt like that. Down to the pants and the dislocating leg. And on one side, it's the heavy lag with the manhole on there and some more detail, like spray can or whatever. And on this side, you have some more trash. And big, very big toes, by the way. So other than the disconnecting lag, the, it's actually looking pretty good. So for your articulation, the head moves up and down. The neck doesn't have any joints, so I guess it's just on a ball. It does tilt side side a little bit and it does go all the way. I kind of forgot to heat this guy up. Hopefully it's not ending in tragedy. You have the hinge in the shoulder. You can also rotate it on the hinge, obviously. Then you have a bicep swivel. The double hinged elbow moves over there and there. And then you have another hinge in the fist. I say fist, but it's a hand. It's an open hand. Up and down and all the way around. Chest area has some wiggle motion, but mostly side side. It's mostly swivel. 
you can. Yeah, this is all you get. And side to side, nah, this is all you get as well. I mean, it's good for a big guy. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't mind it. Do we have anything in the lower area? Yes, there's another swivel in here, so you can rotate it all the way around. No problem there. Leg moves forward if it doesn't disconnect out to the side. And as I can tell, as you can tell, very, very, yeah. I need to, I need to tighten that up. Moves to the back. Crotch, pay, uh, crotch piece is soft plastic. And you have the double hinged knees. Actually moves around very well without heating it up. I'm impressed. Then forward and backward movement in the big hinge for the foot. And it's molded roundly so you can bring it side to side on that beautiful pivot. And actually great, except for that. For your accessories, the highlight obviously would be his little buddy. What was it, Joe Eyeball, uh, Eyeball Joe? One of the two. So he, had a, he does have the eyeballs, which I'm afraid to move it. I don't think he can, but he looks great. <laughs> I especially like, uh, like the, uh, the round nose. And the paint job on there, the line work is also pretty well executed. Hence, I actually, well, the arms are actually articulated on hinges, so you can bring that up and down and also rotate it, just be careful, it's a very, very small hinge. And then the head is also on a ball joint, so you can bring that actually very nicely up and down, side to side and all the way around. So this thing is great, love it, love it, love it, love it, great inclusion, and it looks awesome. Then you have a gun, which is fairly detailed, has a lot of stuff going on, different paints, a little bit of red, light gray, black gray, and of course the black line work, and whatever the hell's on top over here. I actually cut mine, it's broken. That that was me cutting it out of the uh, out of the wire thingies in the packaging. Hate the packaging by the way. Just just like you have two hands, one normal holding hand and one with the trigger finger for the gun. And then you have a different mouth, kinda like a little bit more angry mouth. I think it's supposed to be that way. Yeah? No? I don't even know. And then you have the trash can, which is kind of crumpled up a little bit, which goes on the back, so you can carry around Joe Eyeboy, Eyeboy, Eyeball Joe. Kind of fits in there, snuggles in there. And you have an ooze canister. Croptron Labs compound, whatever. Um, yeah, there's some ooze in there. That's why it is the plastic around it. Not gonna use that, but if you want to play around with that stuff, feel free to do so. Also, by the way, if you're thinking of switching out the mouths, here's a cursed image. <laughs> and it's gonna bring me to the final thoughts, and um, I love this figure. The only issue I have is the disconnecting leg, and the fact that he doesn't have a fist hand, which I always find weird. Like, a fist hand seems like such a basic thing to add, and you know, he doesn't have one, right? Right. I just double check. No, there's no fist hands. Only like the grabby hands and the trigger finger hands um, while holding. But yeah, other than that, this figure looks amazing. I love the posing abilities. Uh, Joe Eyeboy, Eyeball Joe, whatever. Uh, it's great. Trash can fits also in the back very, very well. They also just left a little slot in the back, so if you don't wanna, don't actually wanna use it, it doesn't really stand out as much. You know, it doesn't have like a big hole in the chest like the old school toy head, for example. The gun looks great. I don't really like the gun uh, personally. I mean, it's a great accessory. I'm just not gonna use it because like. Again, I'm getting like the Frankenstein, uh, Frankenstein vibes with this guy. So anyway, just, yeah, this figure looks great. Even if you're not a TMNT collector, if you like, like, uh, you're like a Toxic Crusader fan, or if you like just gruesome looking, ugly mock figures, this one's definitely for you. That's gonna do it, guys. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, card game stuff, and whatever Muckman wants.